Hello everyone. Alright, we back again and I started the um the mounting uh of everything that I have in so far. Alright, so far uh I have you know the gearbox which I did a little quick uh review of for neutral reverse gearbox and I also have my uh my shaft which the propeller is going down towards the end back here. And I basically have everything mounted up to this uh two by uh nine right here. Or two by ten. I thought it was a two by twelve, but it's a two by ten. You know it's not actual like it's not actually ten inches, you know. It's it's really nine inches. So I have that I have this right here mounted on. And I also have this plate. This aluminum plate. I think it's uh, an eighth inch thick mounted onto the bottom of this uh, gearbox as well and I'm gonna try to tra do like a transfer picture if I could do it I'll insert the picture right about now to uh, show you which which piece I'm trying to make right here yeah and this thing I forgot to mention this in my last video but um the weight of this is 10 pounds I didn't weigh it myself, that's just what, it, what everything said, uh, that's what it said online. And this right here, this shaft along with these bearings, I'll take this about another 10. So, so far we have like 20 pounds plus the, um, the engine, which is another 30 pounds. So, looking at about, i say about 60 pounds, you know, once this whole section gets done. And the reason for this extra length up here to the front from here to here is because I basically want it to uh, sit or like rest within the actual frame, not on that thin plywood that I'm going to use, well, the thin sheathing that I'm going to use. Got the first base plate all drilled out. This is the one, once again, that's going to sit on top of the uh, first pillar block bearing. And you can see, boy, um, I thought that this was going to go a little bit faster, but but um, drilling through this with the uh, step drill bit. It's real nausea. As you can see, I'm in a freaking apartment and it's like uh, seven o'clock a.m. Just got off work over the next year. Anyway, um, these four holes right here are for the, um, uh, what you call it, the, the um, gearbox. And these four right here are for these one foot by five eighths bolts, which basically are going to um, mount it right here. Now, the reason why these two holes right here are so close is because, um, like I told you, I got the wrong piece of uh, wood, and I didn't feel like going down the road and getting another one, which is only like three minutes down the road. I didn't feel like going back to Lowe's and grabbing another one, so I just decided to, you know, swing it. But if it doesn't work out, you know. I basically just have to um, redrill this hole. The other ones are going to be fine, but we drill well these two holes right here, the big ones, back over here with a new piece of wood. All right, I, um, I got the first. I got the first um, level all drilled out. Got the anchor bolt in, but um, still haven't. Drill it through the wood yet. Um, I'm still debating on whether I should use this or switch it out with another piece of, of aluminum. Of aluminum, 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 aluminum. Well, all right. Um, I didn't want to have any slotted holes, so basically, what I decided to do was um, have nuts to the top and nuts to the bottom, 
that would allow me to uh, basically adjust the, the tension in the, in the chain. So I'm about to test it out to see, you know, how well it works. But what it looks like I could do is take maybe one link out of out of the chain, because from the top of the pillar block bearing to the bot to the bottom of this base plate, I could fit my finger right there. So in order to save space, I could probably uh, you know remove one of those links. But let me uh, start by just loosening these up and. One thing that I've, well, what I was telling you about earlier, like this right here, this nut right here is basically butting up against the leg of this um, gearbox. I'm not gonna force it past it, you know, but uh, I think I'm gonna have to change that out or either um, shave off the nut a little bit. So let me continue to loosen up these top nuts. Also, I might have to substitute these with uh, lock nuts because I put them in earlier, well, I tightened them up earlier, well, just by hand, not with a wrench or anything, and it came loose, like, real easy, so, and I also have some washers, I don't know if uh, that'll help it lock in as well. Or I just might use some uh, Loctite, you know, because I don't plan on, well, once everything gets on the boat and finalized, I don't plan on taking it out unless it's like maintenance or, or something. So I'm raising the nuts right now. A lot better. Yeah. I'm raising this side. Yeah. It seems to be working pretty good, you know. Raise the back side over here. And when I go to put this up on the boat or, or to finalize it, you know, I'll of course use this square to make sure that all four uh, bolts are you know, pretty much the same. Just a little quick, you know. Ordeal just to show y'all how this sucker's gonna work. Oh, it would help if I had my bolts in for the um, pillow block bearing. So yeah, let me. All right, got that in. All right, and then I'll of course lock these down. Like I said, put some Loctite on there or something. So let's see how this bad boy works. All right, we got her all set up and ready to go for a little test run. Um, I think I got it in forward right now. So let me rotate the input shaft right here. No, that's neutral, I'm sorry. Click over to forward. I thought I clicked over to forward. Yeah, there we go. Click over to forward. And there we go. So far, so good. Everything works, you know. Let's get the next plate right here. Engine, and we're all set to go. As always, thanks for watching.